what happens when you when you move your body you're not confident and uh, and this comes with fatigue and confidence is a fleeting thing you lose a little confidence or if you just have a little errant thought go through your mind at the end like don't hit this too thick and sure enough you hit it too thick could it be said that uh, he's suffering from what Evan had earlier inactivity a little bit of that as well uh, coupled with the, the time and and you know uh, everybody messes you know I mean uh, that was by no means easy we just get so spoiled and uh, everything looks like you're just supposed to go right in all yeah. the time uh, these guys are greatly defying the odds of even great players well not ideal Eckman's going to have to make another tough tough shot he's taking a toll on the player but Eckman's been coming through with he's awful good and you can tell the pace of the game has slowed down some. There he gets his body still. Would you say the uh, slow pace might favor Efren? Oh, definitely. Than, uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that was one of the uh, keys to winning this match for Efren was that he needed to control the pace. And, mm -hmm. and for real, he needed to play this fast tempo. Mm -hmm. down to two again at 111 to 109. Remember, folks, this is a race to 120. Over three nights here at the Ridge Race Bar and Restaurant in Hong Kong. Well, Efren hasn't been this close since the uh, first opening night, I believe, when he trailed by three games at the end of the first series. So he definitely has to feel like he's in the thick of this match. Whichever player wins this ultimately will be very deserving. And really, uh, it's a shame that somebody has to lose this match for the, how well the boys have played. Well, I think you hit it on the head also, uh, Mark, when you said at the start of this tournament that no one's, nobody's going to be a loser here. Certainly not one of these two players. Well, a great shot there. I had to bring the cue ball around three cushions. And... Uh, to get the cue ball where he got it, he had to load it up with left hand spin. And it was another one of those shots that you had to aim away from the ball and hope to deflect it back to the exact right spot. And it's all judgment. of the, the night, uh, the people here at Ridgeways are frozen in their seats. Oh, have you even become energized here? I'm kind of nervous right now. <laughs> <laughs> What a match. Oh, yes. 111 to 110, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, in the side pocket, they just replayed it. 
remember folks that during the last break Earl Strickland had a 17 game advantage that has been sliced down to only one by Efren Reyes at this point. Of the last 13 games that Efren has won, 10 of them have been off the break. 10 of them without early even shooting. That's incredible at this juncture of the tournament. Well, he made a good break. He wasn't wildly rewarded. But he'll have first play at this rack, and that is a valuable asset. shot and, uh, he's gonna have to make yet another one well, given Earl's personality uh, Mark uh, how would you think wh what would be going in in uh, Earl's mind at this point I'm, I'm pretty sure he's not feeling too good no. We have a, a quote from our interview earlier that I conducted with him, and uh, though it was brief, he, he stated in there that when the matches are close, Efren generally wins them, and and then he trailed off saying, I don't care. Wow, tremendous shot. He's made three tremendous shots. This requires so much energy. Here comes another yeah. one. And now he's back to where it's just a matter of just basic focus. He doesn't have to do anything fancy. The other three shots require a lot of energy because they were uh, blasting balls in the half pockets, essentially. Do you have a record, uh, Mark, of when we last had a tied match? Well, yeah, I, uh, I certainly do. Well, we are that now, tied at 111. Wow. <laughs> I just can't find an adjective uh, to describe this uh, comeback of uh, no. Efren Reyes. Oh, well, Remarkable uh, seems so tame. It, if you look at the amount of break and runouts we have here, the 11 to 14 games that he's broken run out. It's absolutely incredible. We are tied at 111 all. decision to make here. The offensive shot is not very palatable. The defensive shot is ultra difficult. I think he's going to take on a safety. He's going to try to shoot the two ball between the six and the eight. Bank it down the table and put the cue ball down below the four. <laughs> he's executed it flawlessly. Look at this shot. It takes a lot of energy to hit that, uh, controlling both balls on the table, and uh, Earl's forced to kick. Look at this. Uh, Efren's rewarded for a great safety that he played. Well, Earl uh, went straight up and uh, made the stroke uh yeah, was he, that, he was, no, he's, uh, sometimes when he's, uh, what do we call that? Well, we call it, uh, 